Welcome in, everybody. We'll watch the Indiana Fever in this one as they go up against the Las Vegas Aces. And from Sin City, I'm Blake Suniga, joined by two terrible poker players, Brian Benetini and Tim Swartz. And we're in for a good one tonight. So Las Vegas will get the first possession. And who doesn't love an interconference rivalry? Guys, what do you expect from this players, you might not want to admit it, but they really want to win tonight. Nothing better than dragon rights will be rivals. And you know these fans are going to bring a lot of energy because they've been a part of this rivalry longer than some of the players. Now here's Mitchell. Here's Finn. The basket good off the assist from Eric Wheeler. What a confident player Smith is, wasting no time with the rise of fire. Pass to Plum, launches a three, sinks the three-pointer. That's one performance. It seems like every three she shoots is going to go in. I mean, she is in the zone. Oh. Offensive board, Smith. And out of bounds. Outside Young. Gray. Another three for Las Vegas. They made one bucket after another since the game this game started. I wonder if this is the early stages of a blowout. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet, Tim. I, I wouldn't go that far, but it has been pretty ugly so far. Now, here's Young. She's covered closely. The three-pointer, no good. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Since moving to Sin City in 2018, the Aces have transformed themselves into one of the WNBA's premier destinations. And I think a lot of it has to do with their new three-model home arena. Now here's the ball. He's got high. You know, sometimes, just because you can make it from way out there, it doesn't mean you should try. Kind of hypocritical coming from you, Tim. I mean, it wasn't that far out. Anyways, she could work for a better shot than that. Wilson with it, guarded by Wheeler. Let's go with a three. Here's Parker, lays it up and makes it in. Oh, well, this is just what Parker brings to the table. It's a passion and it's a commitment to rebounding the rock. Mitchell outside, down low. Terrific assist and a nice finish. Just a solid play all around. Growing into an elite franchise, Las Vegas has become a desired destination for players. Well, they got an awesome new owner. The players rave about their accommodation. What a city. What a of games with some stars like LeBron, CP3, and James in the entertainment world as well. Las Vegas has been a huge success in the WFL. Oh, man. That's what you like to have over there. From outside, another three for Las Vegas. They are doing some damage from downtown guys. Which is the main reason they're sitting on this huge early lead. What should it? This is an aerial display from beyond the arc. Scooped up. Smith. Nice defense from Asia Wilson. Tough D on the inside. Sure was. No easy access to the front. They've gotten off to a big lead for them, and we're still in the first quarter. And it hasn't been just about their scoring, Tim. Yeah, they're playing the tremendous down. defense, too. Well, Ryan, you got to give it up for the coach as well. This game plan has been perfect. Timeout called the fever. You've got to like what Kelsey Plum has done in this game. Simply, she is on fire beyond the arc. It's time to start uh, shaping the game plan around stopping her. Wilson with the steal. one-sided game in just every area. Absolutely. Their defense, their offense, it's all been outstanding. It's just been a, a tremendous performance, Brian. Well, growing up in Columbia, South Carolina, Angel Wilson ended up playing for her hometown college and brought them their first women's basketball national title. Now, here's Young. 
Parker spent her first 13 years in Los Angeles. From the first overall pick in the 2008 draft all the way to the 2020 bubble, Parker was the face of the Sparks. Now here's Vivian. He's got seven. From past the yard. Tries again. And terrific Boston. work on the offensive glass as she picks up two. He got caught standing around that time and giving up the second chance points. They need more effort than that on the boards. That can't happen. Absolutely. And Parker eventually leaving the Sparks as a free agent. But what a legacy she left in L.A. Well, to me, in front of that downtown L.A. arena, Candace absolutely deserves a statue next to Jack. Mad two minutes remaining. Leave all now. those legends. Parker That's just run of the mill for her. She's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. Laid in with a nice First touch off the glass. Points. What an incredible find from Erica Wheeler. Her passing skills bring out the best in her teammates. Her ball distribution has been outstanding. Yeah, Tim, all you have to do is look at the numbers. Those assists do not lie. Yeah, they keep piling up. Three, Victoria Vivians. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that is the assist from Wheeler. Guarding her in the perimeter, it might not be a priority for them right now, but it will be if she keeps hitting those. Young shot's good. But you know, she's providing the pass. Young has to be happy to be on the receiving end of a catch and shoot. More than willing to fire. Outside, Vivians. Pass to Cannon. Soft touch on the glass. Very clever passing. Assist Put that ball on a silver Victoria, yes. Jackie Young from outside. No good on that shot. And Indiana will go the other way with it. Here's Vivians. Makes it off the glass. Victoria Vivians. Gray outside. Pass to Plum. Gray. And the three ball is good. Oh, this is big. Gray's game so far. She's scoring at will and putting on an absolute show. And Chelsea Gray is going to pick up the foul. Second That's two foul number two for her. Both teams will make substitutions. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clock. Here's Vivian's. Asia Wilson with some nice D. Here's Las Vegas. Chelsea Plum from outside. And the ace is another three. When you see Plum coming at you, the instinct is to protect the hoop. That's why her ball up is dead. And it's her first free throw of the game. And the first one falls for her. Shooting for Indiana. Chelsea Mitchell. She's perfect from the line this time. And Mitchell understands her role on this team. She's out there to score as often as she can. Three-pointer, Kelsey Plum. It's good for the long Her stroke has been dead on. Inside, outside, wherever. The shots are falling for her. And for the first That's half, the of the three long side of the fair. The ace is on top, opening a huge one. gap. And will return shortly.
follows it up with an even better second half. So we'll see if that happens again here. And welcome back as we begin the second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, but anything can happen. Outside Wheeler. That shot off. Nice defense from Asia Wilson. Kelsey Plum from outside. Good. And it's Joseph Gray who picks up the assist. Demonstrating how dangerous she can be from deep. Plum doesn't lack confidence in firing the three ball. Here's Smith. Nice pass. Oh, Led him to the rack so perfectly for the layup. She can time her passes so perfectly. What an assist. That was a second look at our Mobile One drive. Amazing control on this play. Really made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Here's Vivians. Some solid defense from Jackie Young. Those chances, usually they're two points for her. The D, I guess, did just a, a enough to bother her. The gets the bucket. Really coming into her own the last couple of seasons, Kelsey Plum is now a problem for defenses. Goes up and Boston. lays it in nice and easy. Problem. She's there running the bounce there. pass in there so smoothly. And these guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assist. When everybody's involved, offensively, it's in a way helping you defensively, too. It has been a three-point barrage for them since halftime. Yeah, I don't know if it's been by design or by accident, but either way, it's been impressive. Maybe the, the coach just went up to the locker room chalkboard and just put a number three out there. Well, you just can't give her that kind of position in the post. That's exactly the position. It's just so hard to stop her. Solid work right there. There's a big difference in field goal percentages in these teams in the second half. And that difference has come about because we've got one team moving sharply, getting good shots, and the other just a little bit stagnant. It's tough to watch. Yeah, one coach did his job at halftime. The other, not so much. Well, that's just not a sight you see very often because she has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when she's open. All right, you need a bucket to win a game as time is winding down. Tim, who do you want to have the ball? I'm going with John Quell Jones. 6'6", so you know she'll get the shot off. You don't have to score from anywhere on the court, and that makes her so tough to stop. Well, I want Brianna Stewart to have the rock. She is a finely tuned offensive player with really no weaknesses. So down the stretch, I know that I could rely on her for a bucket. Now, here's Parker. Nine Plus points in the game. Now well on Gray. Third, that is no third foul. foul so far. Substitution on the court. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Pass to hole. Tries a three. That shot, no good. The aces go the other way with it. Here's Candace Parker for three. And the ace is running out of That's a shot five, six years ago. Parker didn't even attempt. Now she's expanded her range to that deep. Now here's Wheeler. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Not much the D can do once she gets to the bucket. And stolen by Smith. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone now. To the paint. Gets it to drop, and she's now shooting at a five for a clip. At the moment, Melissa Smith gets that ball inside. Good night. And Melissa is so hard to stop. And here's Candace Parker for three. And the rebound goes to the Fever. Now here's Hole. That one. Well, we've seen Lexi Hull has some range, but she can also slash, bring it inside. And this has been a one-sided affair. Yeah, they've done a very nice job of extending there. It's in for a three-point range. Nice to see she's found her rhythm here in the third quarter. And you can see her confidence. Everything she's putting up from long range, it seems to be going down. Smith controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Don't really box Smith out, put a body on her. She'll do that to you 
Paul next. Jacks up a three. Bluff can't hit. So it's Indiana now. Inside. Smith. Yes, and a nice assist from Erica Wheeler. Great job spotting her teammate near the bucket and firing the pass in there. Right wing. Three-pointer, Jackie Young. Count that as a seven-year-old tries. That's the product of hard work. Young has turned herself into a knockdown three-point shooter. Smith, no good. Pass to Stokes. From deep, another three for Las Vegas. Yeah, Young is such an effective ball handler, spots the wide open shooter and passes the rock. The open shot by Erica Wheeler. Off of the key jumper, no good. At the end of the third That's quarter, the third quarter. quarter. This quarter. And this one may That's already have been decided. Ace is ahead, running away with this one. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments for our fourth quarter of basketball coming up next. And we're getting underway in the fourth quarter. That scoreboard tells the story in this matchup, but we'll see how much things can change. Here's Colson. Here's Bell. Gets a three-pointer to fall. Here's Ashford. Bell was right on target. And here's Indiana. Pass to Smith. And she converts the layups. Well, with the ability to do just about anything on the floor, Melissa Smith is so tough to stop, and she is going off tonight. Now that is nice. Glad we got a chance to check out that sweet drive one more time. Well, to be honest, they've got a long way to go, but attacking the rim, never a bad idea. And she uses the glass on the layup. Every team needs someone who makes those around them better. And Wheeler's vision puts her in that category. And that one's good. Way to work the ball in close to the hoop. Fourth quarter, still young. Just over a minute play. Yep, that one goes. She put that lead pass on a platter for her. Man, they're in complete control. Everything they're doing has been working out. Wow. Outside Wheeler. Pass to Egbo. The basket good off the assist from Eric Wheeler. That's what I call pretty passive. Timely recognition as to where the opening teammate was. They grab their own miss. And here's Colson. Hall with the ball, and Clark picks her up defensively. Natural play by Smith against contact, getting to her shot. Second minute off the clock now on the floor. Stokes misses. And here's Hull. Here's Wheeler. And Clark pulls it down. I don't know what she was thinking about on that shot, but that's just not smart basketball. Not at all. She should have even considered taking that shot. Here's the fever with the ball. Outside Wheeler. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. And here are the aces now. Pass to Colson. He tries for three. Another three to Las Vegas. Since the start of the fourth, Brian, that three-point shot has really been there for them. Yeah, doing an excellent job, Tim, of finding the open teammate on the perimeter this quarter. The three-pointer is a major weapon for them right now. And that's how you pick up second-chance points. Stay active and be ready to react as soon as the shot goes up. Now Bell. Pass to Colson. The three ball. Drains it from beyond the arc. It's been a humongous fourth quarter for her, especially for long range. She 
He's in a throw, and that triple is just a death. And it's good. She was one step ahead of the D in making that pass. Nice assist. Now Wilson. From deep. And the ace is another three. Fantastic pass. She made that a very easy bucket with the setup. Well, in this salary cap league, rookie contracts have massive value. The lower cap numbers may really help these fillers. If you have a few players on rookie scale deals, that frees up space to go up after a big free agent or two. And that's why the WNBA draft is so crucial for teams. If you can just find a keeper, you have a big leg up on the competition. Moves well without the ball. Warren's pretty good at losing her defender and, and making them pay. Oh. Offensive rebound. Smith. Las Vegas foul. Kia Stokes. First personal foul. Teams first. First team foul. Shooting for the first fever. First throw is good. Melissa a blocking double-double. Six foot. Shots. Melissa Smith is an impact player. Has a major effect on games. So both teams changing it up here. Now the Aces with it. Here's Bell. And the Aces with another three. Kirsten Bell. Pass to Wallace. Smith, she's covered by Clark. Smith, no good. Here's Wilson. Three-pointer. Ekbo pulls it in. Here's Wallace. Guarded by Young. So she gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. Jackie Jobs. Next. First personal foul. Teams first. And she makes the first. Shooting for Indiana. Christy Wallace. So she gets them both. Now the ace is with it. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Young shot is off. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Here's Clark. Here's George. And the rebound to take off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Terrific job to convert the put back. Uh, she uh, stayed with that play from start to finish. And that's something to say about her a lot. So it's the Aces winning this one. The outcome of this one was never in doubt. They were really putting out a very nice game. They were not going to let it go. And that's a wrap, everyone.